question, the member for London North Centre. Speaker, my question is to the Premier. Affordability is a huge concern for most people today. Housing costs ballooned under the last government and have only accelerated under this one. Constituents at One Richmond Row reached out to tell me they're facing rent increases of 7 to 10 percent simply because they're in a building built after 2018. This government cancelled rent control in new buildings, forcing these tenants to pay hundreds more dollars in additional rent. Yeah. Seniors living on fixed incomes and young families trying to start their lives are afraid they're going to end up on the street. Marnie told me, I'm very frustrated as to why it will be such a large increase when it should be 1.2 per cent like other renters. As a new renter, I had no idea this would happen to me. It has been very stressful for several of us as our rent is at top dollar already. It's a simple question. Will this government do the right thing, return rent control to buildings built after 2018, question. and stand up for Ontario's renters? Yes or no? And to reply, member for Stormont Dundas, South Glengarry. Thank you, Speaker, for that question. Thank the member opposite. You know, since taking um, government, we have taken all the measures possible to make sure that housing was affordable to the people of Ontario. And this, this province was in terrible shape. We had the lowest number of housing units per capita in this country. And the, in this country was the worst in the G7. And that's after decades of the previous government stifling and red tape. And we took measures. So when we came to power, he says, our government immediately put in measures to get rid of the red tape and allow builders to build, developers to develop. And it was a key factor in keeping rental units as low as possible. We've had the highest number of rent or rental units, the highest number of housing units built since the 1990s in this province. And that goes, that goes to the measures we put in place. And the NDP and the Liberals said no to requiring landlords efforts to negotiate repayment for agreements. So we've done things to make rental issues affordable, especially during COVID. We, we stopped evictions during the COVID time frame to give the people that were having trouble with employment a time to make repayments and a time to get their payments in order. Question. My question is back to the Premier. You know, scrapping rent control makes things unaffordable. I'd like this government to get that through its head. The worst part about this is that people like Marnie thought the Ontario government was on their side and that there were rules to protect renters. Speaker, the, the member's answer shows that this is not the case. This government voted against my Bill 23, which would protect renters. With a stroke of a pen, this government could stand up for renters, bring back rent control, but instead they'd rather help wealthy developers. For decades, Conservative and Liberal governments have made the housing crisis worse and worse. They've allowed the greediest developers and corporate landlords to gouge tenants and throw people out of their homes to make a buck. My constituent Chris said, this is an outrageous attempt to essentially evict tenants because they feel they can get more money. Okay. It is simply unaffordable. The cost of moving and the horrible burden of finding a new home will be very imposing on the residents in my building. What does this government have to say? to Marnie, Question. Chris, and the other families living at one Richmond Row who might get evicted because they can't afford the massive unfair jump in rent that this government has rubber-stamped. There we are. Member for Aurora Oak Ridges, Richmond Hill. Thank you very much, uh, Speaker, and I thank my honourable colleague for uh, for their question. And uh, my message to all Ontarians and those uh, who, are, who are looking for an answer from government is this: We've had your back, and we'll continue to have your back, Mr. Speaker, through policies Pardon. that we have always put in place, Mr. Speaker. But let me just point out the fact that members op members opposite never want to bring up, and that is the question of supply, uh, Mr. Speaker, because of bad decisions by the, by the previous government. And remember, who supported them along the way, whenever they needed them, we did not. We, Ontario lacks Order. the supply that we need for house Ontarians of all, Mr. Speaker, which is why the policies and the decisions that were made by the minister alluded to by, by the parliamentary assistant helped to make sure that we have more units available so that it does help with the prices for Ontarians. It's a simple supply and demand. I understand sometimes it's difficult for, for others to, 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 uh, to fathom that, but it is a fact, Mr. Speaker, which is why when you reduce red tape, when you increase inventory through proper decisions, it will make housing more affordable for Ontarians, but we'll make sure that the, every single decision that we make reflects the best for the people of Ontario. Mr. Speaker. 